In England, residential property owners have the right to light and air through easements. But if a defendant's use of his property interferes with a plaintiff's light and air, a jury focuses on the harm to the plaintiff instead of the reasonableness of the defendant's interference. So, the jury doesn't address whether an interfering building was in a proper location or used for the defendant's reasonable enjoyment of his land. In Bamford v. Turnley, we'll explore whether these questions were asked when one landowner's property use interfered with another's property and created a nuisance. Bamford and Turnley purchased adjoining lots of land in England in the 1800s. Turnley constructed a kiln on his residential property and burned earth bricks in the kiln to build a house. Although the kiln was placed as far from Bamford's land as possible, the smoke and fumes from the kiln traveled onto Bamford's land. Bamford sued Turnley for private nuisance in an English trial court. At trial, Bamford proved that burning bricks in the kiln was a nuisance. However, the trial judge instructed the jury to find in Turnley's favor if the location of the burning was proper and convenient and, under the circumstances, a reasonable use of Turnley's land, regardless of whether it interfered with Bamford's comfort. The jury found for Turnley, concluding that the kiln's location was proper and that burning bricks was a reasonable use of Turnley's land. Bamford appealed to the England and Wales Court of Exchequer Chamber. 